I finally got a hold of a copy of Snow Leopard. It just arrived today. I got it from Amazon. Um, I was actually on holiday when Snow Leopard came out. I should have pre-ordered it um, the week before, but I didn't. And then my choice was either buy it from Apple and get it quickly, or buy it from Amazon and get it um, about £8 cheaper. So I got it from Amazon to save £8. So, here's the box it's that Amazon have sent it in. Simply gonna open it up and find invoice and the Snow Leopard box. So th there's the Snow Leopard box. It's not actually that big. Um, it, so it's definitely they're definitely not um, marketing this as a whole new operating system. It is just a small upgrade with a few refinements, a better version of Leopard, basically. And there's some more rubbish from Amazon there, and that's it. So, uh, this is the single copy, not the family pack. It's only going on my iMac. My Mac Mini can live without it. And, as you can see, I've got the chat in the video today. I'm trusting the users in the chat um, to not break any rules while I'm recording. But one of the moderators can easily turn moderation on during the course of this video so when I actually open this I think I'll cut it I'll start installing it so hopefully this will be really easy to install um, on the back it's got a few of the new features a picture of a MacBook and a lot of little icons on the front obviously a picture of a snow leopard So, as, as usual, simple packaging and very small. Um, as you know, you're probably aware that Apple are trying to be more environmentally friendly with all their products now. And I'm not going to go through all the features in this video because I'm sure you'll all, you'll all be well aware of by now of what Snow Leopard has to offer. Um, I might talk about a few while I'm waiting for various things. So, that's all there is to it. There's nothing inside this box, I don't think. Um, obviously, the first thing you read and everything. Designed by Apple in California. So, if I can figure out how this bit opens. I'm guessing everything just slides out the side. I will continue. Okay, so some Apple stickers I wasn't expecting to find in there. Apple stick is always a good thing. And some information about the support and warranty. An installation guide. Um, some various new features. I'll list some of them later. And of course the Snow Leopard disc. So this is a big thing that opens out. So this is what the instructions say. There's basically two steps to this. It's very simple. Improved installation that's faster and uses less di less disk space. So that's another feature. It will give you more disk space back from your hard drive. To install Snow Leopard, insert the installation disk and double click install Mac OS X. Then follow the on-screen instructions. So I'll, and then it click it says click customize if you want to change what's installed when you're ready click install to begin installing snow leopard when the installation is finished your computer will restart so hopefully i should easily be able to switch to another camera the, the eye toy behind me um, doesn't seem to want to do it Give me a minute. There. Sorry about that. And so you can see my iMac here. And I'm simply going to put... I'm sorry about this camera being really bad quality and quite dark. 
and the frame rate is probably going to be really bad on this video as well. Make sure I haven't got a disc in. No. Put the Snow Leopard disc in the side of the iMac. I wish the disc slot thing was on the other side so I didn't have to slide this out a bit every time I wanted to put a disc in. And hopefully this should automatically do something. Uh, I've been really looking forward to Snow Leopard. Um, once I've seen other people's reactions to it, I don't, I've come to the conclusion that it's probably not going to be um, as exciting as I'd hoped. Um, because there's not really that many big changes and it looks the same as well. So you can see a big X there, you should just be able to make that out on the video. Um, so I have th three options here, instructions, optional installs, which we'll probably be doing afterwards, and install Mac OS X. So that's the one I'm going to choose. To set up the installation of Snow Leopard, click continue. A license agreement, which is far too long to read. But since I'm making this video, I suggest that you read it. But I know no one does. Mac OS X will be installed on the Macintosh HD, so that's the name of the hard drive. So, install. Click install to quit all open applications and install Mac OS X Snow Leopard on Macintosh HD. Install. It needs my password. And it closes everything. It's it actually left Twitterific open in the corner there. So it it won't let me do anything else while it installs this. A few people have asked whether it deletes any files or reformats the drive. Um, since it's an upgrade, no, it doesn't. It simply upgrades the installation. Um, it shouldn't affect any apps you've already got, any files, any. Um, documents that al already exist on your hard drive and all the settings should stay the same as well. The time remaining is the same 58 minutes right now. I think I'll actually quit Twitterific. There we go. So obviously I'm not going to sit and record this whole installation process. Um, I'll make another video um, with my a few thoughts and a quick review of Snow Leopard. I apologise again for this being really late, um, if I could have done it on the day it came out I would have but I wasn't even in this country, so if I'm a few weeks late but <laughs> this is the best I could do. You've probably seen loads of reviews on YouTube by now and read plenty about it but I'll still do mine anyway. So hopefully this installation will be really smooth, I'll comment on the installation process in my next video. As always my website, well actually not as always, my website is now jakewright.net um, as instead of jackie.com which you all know it as. jakewright.net where you'll find my blog, my live stream, uh, you know what kind of things you'll find at my website. Thanks for watching.